Hey up everybody, welcome back to the Audio Tackling YouTube channel. And um, once again, welcome back to Valor Games, where today we are talking about the Brabant Cipel, which is the kind of transition race between the Cobbled, Cobbled Classics and the Ardennes, which is going to be coming up real soon. So, this is a, this has been a race which I've um, watched for a few years, so I kind of get how it goes, and it's a tricky one to make a team for this year, so... Let's, uh, I think this might just be a bit of a, a case of me going through the problems that I'm perhaps having and maybe that you're having. So, as you can see on screen, this is kind of a team that I've got together, which I think is quite good. Um, what's important to note is that there are some good value low pointers here. So I'll probably start with those first. In terms of six pointers, you've got uh, Aryan uh, Livens, you've got ID Schelling, You've got uh, Simon Carr, uh, Kevin Genietz, and like Ben Tullett maybe for Alpes and Phoenix. You know, you've got five riders there. In terms of four points, you've got two guys from Jumbo Visma who could get assist points for Wout, and you've got Marco Brenner, the kind of sensational German talent for Team DSM. So you can pick either one of those for your low pointers. So now that I've got that out of the way, in terms of your, your low pointers the main thing that you need to be discussing here with yourself is Wout Van Aert or not to go with Wout Van Aert. so because the problem with Wout is that he does seem to create quite awkward scenarios for trying to make your team here which is what I've realized so the problem is is that you could go with like this and maybe you take off so you've got 108 here, so you've got to take 8 off. So you could, you know, take off Michael Matthews and go with Anthony Turgis. So you could go with something like that. That's quite a good team, um, I think. If I actually, that's one that I haven't really considered yet. And I, I really like the look of that. Um, is Wout going to win? It, it's, it's difficult uh, to say, but he is the favourite. And so if you just want to pick the favourite, because lots of people will do, then this is... If this is a great team for you to pick. You could, um, instead of going, uh, taking Tergis, you could keep Matthews and take those points, and you could put on, take off Stoyven and go with Christophe Laporte instead. Um, by all means, do that. The problem that you get is when you start to get on towards these kind of middle range riders who are perhaps kind of around 10 points and 8 points. I just don't like any of the 10 pointers or 8 pointers here, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure how well most of them are going, most of them are here, there's a domestique, sure you've got Petr Vakoc here who has won this race in the past but like, hasn't really got the form, a lot of the 8 pointers I'm just not a fan of, there's not many of them but I just don't like many of them, 12 pointers, honestly I'm only particularly liking Mikkel Frolik Honore and that's because he won a stage of a tour of the Basque Country, um, Ugo Ofsted I do like but probably not for this race, maybe Raby Cavagna and Honestly, that's about it. So you kind of get to some 12 pointers and it's good. But then you get to below that and then it's bad for 10 and 4 and uh, 8 pointers. And then 6 points are good. So you need to probably try and go with 12 pointers up to wow and then 6 pointers and below. Um, so you could go with a team like this. Alternatively, you don't go with wow and you pick like Van Avermaet instead and then you... Instead of Laporte here, you go with pretty much what I had at the start, which is something like that. Of course, change out riders here, please. If you don't want Stoyven, if you wanted Trenton or Pidcock instead, or Lampart, then by all means pick one of those guys. Um, Cobb Rally, I do like for this race. I think that 18 points is quite good value for him, especially since the other 18 pointer is Rudy Mollard, and I'd probably favour Cobb Rally, especially given his. Uh, how consistent he is in this race. He's finished lots of times in the top 10. 20 pointers, difficult to say. Sepan Mark has done this race once and he DNF'd, so hard to say how he's going. Seneschal, how's, how's he feeling? You know, did he get ill or anything after that really cold shelter press? Nils Pollitt, Mohoric, Conifoir didn't look great. Carapaz, probably not. You know, all those 20 pointers all seem to have a bit of a question mark over, you know, what's their motivation for this race? Do they actually want to be here? Um, is there like a better option? Are they working for somebody else? Like in the case of Mohoric maybe. 
those guys aren't necessarily the leaders of the team, but perhaps just a like an option. So it's just a bit risky. Whereas you know that a Stoyman is the, t- the team leader for Trek Segafredo. You know that Greg Van Avermaet more than likely is the team leader. You know that Michael Matthews is. It's just safe picks. Um, that's kind of what I've gone with with this team, is that you know that these are all the leaders for the individual teams, respectively. Um, of course, you could uh, move some things around. So let's go with a scenario where you put on one of these 12-pointers. So you go with... Um, yeah, you go with Honore, let's say. So then you have six more points. Um, you could put those onto your six pointers here. You could perhaps take off Matthews. Thing is, I'm quite liking Michael Matthews for this race. I don't know why. He's just quite good. Then all these twenty pointers are just a bit like, oh, I don't really know what to do with them. Tergis, yeah, put him on. Because okay, so then you got like fourteen points, and then you could put all these one of these six pointers up to twenty points. So you could go with. I'd probably, if you have, if you put a gun to my head and said, pick a 20 pointer, I'm probably going to say Seneschal. Um, if you're like, I don't want, I don't want Seneschal. Uh, who else should I go with? Probably Set my Mark or Horridge, I'd say. So you could go with a team like that, which has five options. I guess you'd have, but I've not Turgis. Stoyan, Honore, and Seneschal, plus Schelling, who I think is really undervalued here, so would probably be putting him on as your as your main six-pointer. If you have more than one six-pointer, then pick one of the other ones that I said earlier on um, to go with something like that. So I think I'm kind of... What I'm getting across to you is, you know, this you know, there's plenty of options for if you don't have Wout on your team. You can go with a strategy where... You've got five kind of bigger point riders, or you could take off on Ore like this and pick a random six pointer, and then you know you put back on like uh, you, you can get Matthews back on your team by just moving a couple of people around like that. At the end of the day, I think that what I'm looking at is a team like this, but probably not with. Uh, I'm either looking at this team or I'm looking at the team which I had on earlier which was Wout and I had what was it did I take off Matthews and I had on Turgis or did I take off Stoyven and I put on Laporte like something like that I think those are the two team options that I'm especially looking at so that's the Wout versus no Wout strategy um that's the main thing that you're gonna have to come down to this decision so let me know in the comments twitter instagram whatever um who you're gonna pick um i'm still not fully decided yet so it might be a bit of a uh, last minute decision but you know that's sometimes the beauty of it at the end of the day it's a category three race so it's not massively important but anyway a little bit shorter than usual so we'll just leave it there Keep your mask on, stay safe, we'll talk to you next time.